Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to study a 4x4 four four barrel shifter. We have already studied the basics of barrel shifter in the previous clip. I'll just quickly recap and then we plunge into this. We know that in barrel shifter, we can either shift our input bits towards the left or towards the right by specifying the width of our shift. Also, at times when you're shifting, the empty spaces can be appended with the bits which have been shifted and we can go in the circular manner and becomes a rotor or a rotator. Right now, I'm not getting into that. Right now, what I'm going to do is whatever are going to be the empty spaces, I'm going to append it with the bit which is just previous to that. And I'm going to draw this four cross four barrel shifter. I'll first make it using the pass transistor logic, explaining you the logic, how it's being made. And then I'll show you the trick, how we can convert the same diagram using transmission gates, which is going to be very straightforward. Okay, let's get started now. Here it's a four cross four barrel shifter where my inputs are A0, A1, A2 and A3. My outputs are going to be B0, B1, B2 and B3. And the control signals are going to be shift zero, shift one, shift two and shift three. Remember that this control signals are going to be mutually exclusive signals, which means that at one point of time, only one of them will be high and here is where it shows what's going to happen. If shift 0 is high, there is no shift. So my A0 will become B0, my A1 will become B1, A2 will become B2 and A3 will become B3. So no shift in input. If shift 1 is high, this shifts left by 1, A0 is discarded, A2 comes towards the left, A3 comes towards the left and this is the last bit which is present. So I'm just appending that bit for B3 as well. Shift 2, so again A2 should come here, A3, so don't compare with here, compare with this standard value. So A2 should come here, two shifts, A3 will come here and the last two will be just appended with the last value. Same we can explain for shift 3 as well. Now we have understood what will happen in shift 0 operation, what will happen in shift 1 operation, what will happen in shift 2 and so on and so forth. Now let's quickly go ahead and understand how to make a pass transistor logic for this. It's a very straightforward thing. Here I have made a 4 cross 4 grid where I'll explain you what is to be done. Why 4 cross 4 grid is the first question. The number of rows is equal to the word length of the data. So my word length is 4, the total number of inputs. So that's the number of rows. And the number of columns is the maximum shift width. The maximum shift width is 4 again. So the number of columns are also going to be 4. And if you don't understand this way, it's a 4 cross 4 barrel shifter. So that also will give you the same thing. Now let's get started in understanding how to draw each row. Okay, pay attention and we will do this together. First, let's fill all the 16 boxes with NMOS transistors. Just let's fill this. Then we'll see what we'll have to do. And if you have to use the transmission gates, we very well know that we have to connect a PMOS in parallel to this NMOS with an input which is opposite to the current NMOS. What we are also going to do after making this pass transistors and MOS is we are going to go back to our two table which is present on the left side of your screen and we are going to see what we want at what particular shift. 